hey, 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 how are we all doing? So I'm coming at you now with yet another unboxing and review. This is a G1 Optimus Prime, but that you already know. What you may not already know is that Takara, not Hasbro, of course, have decided to revisit the original Optimus Prime toy and bring it into the new century. We're celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Transformers, as you can see clearly there, with this release. They've termed it the missing link. So what have they done to update this figure? Well, not a huge amount. All they've really done is added some extra articulation to it. So it still looks the same as the original. Before we open it, I suppose we'd better take a look at the box. And yes, it looks very similar to an original G1 toy. Albeit the Japanese version. Because this, so far, has not been slated to have a Western release. And that's why all but the missing link logo is in Japanese. So you've got the traditional images on the front, images and iconography. Again, same on the top. They're really paying homage to that original artwork, aren't they? What's the underneath like? Well, that's a bit of an info dump, isn't it? But we can't read it, can we? <laughs> Sides. Again. Very similar to the original. Oh, but this time we've got an extra accessory. We've got the energy axe. Back of the box, just like the original again. Love that artwork. And it has the tech specs on it as well. Look at that. The voice of the Mr. Holmes is highlighting it. <laughs> Shall we have a closer look at it? Shall we crack it out of its styrofoam and cardboard coffin and see what it's like in hand? So, I've got my trusty knife. Let's split some tape. So just by getting this far, we can already see there's some differences between this and the original. But the only visible differences are additions. Because the original didn't come with an energy axe. And the original also didn't come with a matrix of leadership. But the gun's there. The sprues are there. Which the original came with sprues. The missile, or missiles, which, although they look slightly larger to my eyes, they don't look too different. The wheels are obviously wheels for roller, which this one, because it's Japanese, is silver, not blue, like the one that most of you will be familiar with. And We've got the hose, the nozzle, and the gas pump. Again, to my eyes, they look slightly larger, but I don't have an original to hand to compare them. Details look very similar. The gun. It's the right shape. It's a matte plastic this time, instead of the original glossy version. And it looks a little bit more detailed. It looks a bit beefier, if I'm to be entirely honest. But that's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Let's have a look at the Prime himself. So 
So let's have a look. I'm assuming, I haven't checked, that the articulation is going to be very similar to the original G1 toy. The cab, it looks identical to an original toy. Apart from inside the window there, where you've got the space for the matrix of leadership. It looks very, very similar. I can only imagine that the transformation is the same. Shall we find out? Oh, it's got fists attached, whereas before they used to come out, didn't they? This time they fold away. Interesting. And the hands open and close. Okay. They've got a swivel. Mm hmm. I approve. I approve. Oh, very stiff. Very stiff. But so far, identical transformation. Yeah, it's got the feel of an original G1 toy. It's got the look of an original G1 toy. It's the size of the original G1 toy. It's got the metal toes or feet of the original G1 toy. It's got the rubber tires, the correct chrome work of the original G1 toy. It's got the yellow eyes that the original G1 toy also had. Something that this has that the original G1 toy didn't have is my fingerprints on the chrome. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, it's got the detailing on the top of the arms there, which is pretty cool. It's got a sticker either side, an Autobot symbol either side. I thought it was only supposed to have the one. Those wheels come out on an angle. They're on, um, they're on flaps, which the original G1 toy didn't, didn't do that. And you've got the added articulation. Let's just see how, how good that extra articulation is, because that's, that's as much as it was before. Oh, look at that. We've got some knee joints. Optimus Prime can now say his prayers. Optimus Prime can hail Mary. <laughs> that was pretty much the same as before. Obviously we didn't have that before. The wrist pivot. We didn't have the elbow joint before, so that's nice to have. We didn't have the shoulder joint before. Other than, other than that, we had that before. We didn't have that. Oh, we didn't have that before either, that's new toe pivots because we all need a good toe pivot don't we <laughs> not entirely sure if that's about it or if there's any more oh we've got a waist pivot we didn't have that before did we that feels like i'm gonna break it if i try to bring that out so i'll, I'll, I'll leave that alone now, I'm guessing, because we've got a matrix of leadership, that just like the original, this will flip down, yeah. Now, before you had two seats there and everyone used to put the fists in there, but now we've got somewhere to put the matrix of leadership. And that looks really cool shining through the windows there as well, I think. And that looks really nice. It's an impressive piece. 
for display purposes, it would do nice to replace your G1 toy, although you would never get rid of your original G1, would you? And from that point of view, I'm not quite sure what this, what the purpose of this is. Also got some pivots there. That doesn't sound too healthy, I've got to be honest. Now I have to say that the articulation on this thing does allow you to get some wild and angry poses out of this Optimus Prime. This is a guy you are not going to mess with. I also will point out that just like this extra detail that we've got here on the arms, we've got them on the legs. Now these were on the original toy, but they were stickers. These are actually molded and painted onto the plastic, oh, into the plastic, which is nice to see. Another minor difference I notice from the original toy is the silver banding around the middle of the figure. On the original, it's a silver sticker. On this one, it's painted onto the figure itself. <clears throat> okay, let's take a look at the trailer. So let's compare it as best we can to the original G1 Optimus Prime trailer, which was a grey plastic. This it is grey, but it has a silver hue to it. The sticker is a sticker just like the original one was. Detailing looks very, very similar to my eyes. Same there on the back. On the original, these would fold out. And they also do on this one. On the original nut, this would fold outwards, as it does on this one. On the original, these would open, just as it does on this one. Okay, that looks just like the original to me. Let's let's have a close look. Now I think the original stickers had a chrome effect to them, which these do not, they have more of a matte effect. They're still foil, but matte. I think the, the window there was the canopy. I think the canopy there was a brighter orange, probably more akin to the axe there than, than this one is. This feels a little chunkier to me. I don't know if it actually is, but it feels chunkier to me. And these pieces, these arms, I'm fairly sure on the originals, they were silver. Whereas this is more of a, a, a gray coloring. I'm going by memory on this one, so please do excuse me if I'm wrong. 
Now, I'm not going to be taking the missiles off the sprue to put in there, but I can see that there, there is actually extra articulation on this because the, the original, it was literally a case of up, like that. There was none of that, I don't believe, and there certainly wasn't any of that. So that's, that's new. And a roller, I'm probably not going to be displaying the roller with the Optimus Prime either. So I don't feel the need to be putting the wheels on it. But yeah, looks very, very similar. Maybe, maybe sharper details than the original one. And I think that's painted. Is it painted? Or is it silver plastic? I'm fairly sure that's painted plastic as opposed to the original one being uh, blue plastic. And that's new. Uh, you'd usually mount Optimus's gun. Into there. I don't know why you'd do that, but you'd usually do that. Not sure why it has this little spin around feature with what looks like it's meant to be an alarm light, a siren light. <clears throat> I dare say there was an episode of the cartoon where that happened in it and they've replicated that. So what's in here? We have a tech specs and decoder. Let's see if it works. There's your tech specs. And there's your decoder. And yes, it works. Look at that. It's nice to see that this old technology still works. <laughs> it comes with a hang tag should you wish to put a hang tag around it convoy not optimus prime convoy we've got instructions to tell me how to do everything i've just done Russia by the look of it. Let's have a look at this. Oh no. That's made I would say that's made to look a bit like the original American instructions. I could be wrong on that, I could be wrong. Nicely. Maybe it's just a colour version of the instructions. Like how it shows you both versions. There's the version that we've got, and then there's the animated version. animated colour scheme <clears throat> and then we've got a sticker sheet which I dare say I'm probably not going to use because I think it looks good as he is for now at least Optimus is going to be displayed out of the box without the trailer or roller so I put them away for now I only need to figure out. Optimus Prime, also known as Orion Pax, embodies strong moral values, exceptional leadership, and strategic prowess. Equipped with advanced weaponry and martial arts skills, he champions justice and peaceful coexistence with humans. As bearer of the matrix of leadership, he leads the Autobots engaged in an eternal conflict against the Decepticons. 
originating from the ancient dynasty of Primes. Optimus Prime's selfless sacrifice and rallying cry of All are one were pivotal in defeating Unicron. Reborn as Orion Pax, he embraced his new identity, only to reclaim his role as Optimus Prime to confront the Decepticons led by his former friend, Megatron, igniting the Great War on Cybertron. While his origins and persona may vary across different storylines, this depiction remains consistent throughout iterations of the Transformers universe. The first generation Optimus Prime transforms into a Freightliner FL-86 cab over semi-truck. Within his chest is a mystic talisman known as the Autobot Matrix of Leadership, or the Creation Matrix, carried by all Autobot leaders. When Optimus transforms, his tractor cab disconnects to become a sentient robot, and this trailer opens to reveal an iron blaster, forming a combat deck. The combat deck supports a mobile battle station and a command headquarters armed with assorted artillery and beam weapons that fire automatically. The combat deck can also serve as a radio antenna for battlefield communications between the Autobots. The combat deck also included Roller, a mobile scout buggy meant to scout behind enemy lines. When Roller is deployed, Optimus can see and hear what Roller sees and hears. Injury to one component is felt by each of the others. If the combat deck or Roller were to be destroyed, Prime could survive. However, despite the slight degree of autonomy they possess, the combat deck and Roller would not be able to survive without Optimus. The original specification of the Generation 1 Optimus Prime specifies that Optimus Prime consists of three components. The humanoid brain center, which transforms into the truck cab. The combat deck, which transforms into the truck trailer. And the scout car a non-transforming six-wheeled buggy called Roller, which can ride inside the truck trailer. All three components can function independently, but injury to one is felt by the other two. However, in by far the most of the fiction, the humanoid robot actually is Optimus Prime, with the other two components treated as mere accessories that disappeared off the scene when Optimus transforms from truck to robot mode. Open Gangnam Style! So now that he's been cracked out of his box, what do I think of this Missing Link Optimus Prime? Honestly, I think it's absolutely amazing. The poses that you can get out of this figure is absolutely in or are absolutely incredible. The the figure itself is outstanding. The fact that they managed to cram so much of this articulation into a very limiting design from 40, more than 40 years ago. Optimus Prime might be 40 years old, but this toy, this design, it goes back a lot longer than that as part of the Diaclone or Diachron range, doesn't it? So, yeah. Convoy. It is amazing. It really, really is. I like the addition of the, the matrix of leadership, which is, um, it is an addition. It takes up space that the hands would have taken up in the original, so that cuts down the amount of space that this figure has to offer as well. I, I, I love everything about it. I, I, I really do. And I was, I wasn't just on the fence when this was announced. I was in the, the yard of. Why? Yeah, sure, sure, why? 
if you want an original G1 toy, why don't you just get an original G1 toy? It's because you want to be able to have a bit of fun with a G1 toy, and yeah, there's a whole lot of fun crammed into this with the the poses that you can get out of it that you just couldn't with the original. I'm I'm extremely impressed. I'm sorely tempted to display it in one of the only poses you could get out of the original one, which is literally just that. I am tempted to display it in the cabinet just like that, but if I were going to do that, I might as well just get a knockoff version of the original toy, hadn't I? So, no. Um, it will be getting posed in a much more fun way. There is an extra point of articulation that I found afterwards. I knew it was there, but I thought it was a case of this piece here you pull forward. It isn't. It's actually an ab crunch. And it's a very, very stiff one at that. So... Whereas he would be like that as normal. Stood straight. You literally bend the figure at the ab. In order to get that kind of pose out of it. But um, yeah, it's... Honestly, it's phenomenal. It really, really is phenomenal. I'm I'm blown away by it. I, re I really am. I'm, I'm not sure where he's going to get displayed just yet. Maybe next to that Megatron there. In front of the um, Convent, uh, Covenant of Primus. Pri Covenant of Primus, I think it is. Um, yeah. It's... It's a fantastic piece of kit. It really is a fantastic piece of kit. I probably could have got away with just getting the... Is it the animated colourway version where instead of having the chrome front there you have... It's, it's, is it white? With, doesn't show you there, does it? White with the, the yellow markings for, um, for the original Prime in the cartoon having. Uh, because I'm probably never going to display it with the trailer. So maybe I could have saved myself some money there and just got the, the bog standard figure. But I always like to get the best version that you can do. I just I just do. I always think it's... If and when I ever get rid, it's going to make it that little bit more popular to a, a prospective buyer. But I can't see myself getting rid of this anytime soon. I'm I'm genuinely impressed with it. And I'm, I'm hoping... I'm probably peeing into the wind here. But I'm hoping that they do a Megatron. Now, I know that Hasbro would never be able to endorse one because it transforms into a pew-pew and they don't have anything to do with that, do they? Because they can't sell a pew-pew that looks like a proper pew-pew, which Megatron looks like a proper pew-pew. So, the only hope is the fact that Takara don't care. They don't have to worry about American gun laws. This isn't available in America. This is you have something you have to import from. Japan so yeah I'm really hoping that we do get a Megatron to go with to go with this although I imagine if we're going to get anything first it will be an, opt uh, an Ultra Magnus because it's the same figure and they just have to build a suit of armour around it don't they which that really does need some attention doesn't it <laughs> that has no articulation that thing apart from this <laughs> anyway that's probably all I've got to say on this thing there is one really burning question though. Can he do the YMCA? Thank you for tuning into this. This is my second in a series of 
toy unboxing and reviews. I have plenty more toys that have never seen the light of day which I can do unboxings and reviews of. They're toys from my collection that really do deserve to be seen and enjoyed and at the moment they're all stashed away. So if you want to see me doing any more of them rather than the usual stuff, remember give us a like and let me know in the comments below that you want to see more of them. And if you want to be in it with a chance to win this month's giveaway, which is this absolutely beautiful Robotech Archives, The Masters Volume 1 graphic novel, which reprints a lot of the original comics. And this is the first time they've been, and been, been made available for quite some time. Well, since they were first printed. And all you need to do is make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Watch out for me doing a live stream at some point at the end of March or the beginning of April. And just drop a hi, hello, or how you doing in the live chat. And that alone will enter you in with a chance to win it. Right, well, thank you all very much for watching. Remember that. Remember that. And remember that. Okay, guys. Take care, everyone. Catch you again next time.